Hey guys, welcome to Chemistry in Minutes. Today's topic that we'll be covering is states of matter. This includes nature of liquids, nature of gases, nature of solids, and changes of state. Let's start with nature of gases. First of all, we need to know what kinetic theory is. The kinetic theory states that the tiny particles in all forms of matter are in constant motion. This includes the energy of an object it has because of its motion. This is called kinetic energy. Now, we can know what the characteristics of gas particles is. The first characteristic is that if their particles is small, hard spheres with insignificant volume, their motion rapid, constant, and random, and their collisions between particles are perfectly elastic, meaning kinetic energy is transferred without loss from one particle to another, and the total kinetic energy remains constant. Now, gas pressure. What is gas pressure? Well, it's billions of moving particles colliding with an object. This means that the air gives an atmospheric pressure, which decreases as elevation increases because the air is less dense as elevation increases. Gas pressure can be measured with three units. First one, Pascal. Second one, millimeters of mercury. Third one, one standard atmospheric pressure. One standard atmospheric pressure equals to 760 millimeters of mercury and 101.3 kilopascal. Next we have nature of liquids. Liquids have particles closer together than in gases. The conversion from liquid to a gas is called vaporization, and when it's not boiling, it's called evaporization. This happens because molecules have a certain kinetic energy that can let them escape from the liquid surface. Each liquid has a boiling point, which is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the atmospheric pressure. Vapor pressure is the measurement after evaporation of a liquid in a closed container, the temperature decreases when elevation increases. Now we have nature of solids. The particles are close together in a solid than in liquids or gases. They're fixed in one spot and do not floor nor take the shape of their container. Solid particles vibrate about fixed points rather than sliding from place to place. Now solids have a melt the temperature at, at which a solid turns into a liquid. At the melting point, the particles have enough kinetic energy to overcome the interactions holding particles in fixed position. Freezing points can be obtained by reversing the melting point, freezing this liquid. Now change a phase. Here we'll see how each phase turns into the next one. Solid melts into a liquid, liquid evaporates into a gas, gas condensates into a liquid, liquid freezes into a solid, solid sublimates to a gas, and gas depositions into a solid. Finally, here's a phase diagram, which gives the temperature and pressure at which a substance exists as solid, liquid, or gas. I hope you enjoyed and learned from this video. Be sure to check out the next ones. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.